I'm Trevor, a.k.a. Troublemaker, and I am hosting Blazing Bites, brought to you by Wow Cafe. And today we are, we are interviewing Brian Bowser. Not to be confused with uh, the villain from the Mario Bros, Brian Bowser from Sodexo. Say hello. Hey, everybody. I'm glad to be here with Trevor, and I'm really not looking forward to this. Really? Because I thought you liked hot wings. I like hot wings. I don't like what these are. Then, oh, I was going to say, then why are we here? <laughs> this show was inspired by Hot Ones on YouTube. It's an unconventional interview, and we're going to eat hot wings starting from eh to... I feel like we should eat the first one, and then you ask a question. Let's do it. You know what? We're just going to go for it. All right. Not too bad. No, that's not bad. Not too bad. I actually enjoy this. I should stop licking my lips, though. Yeah. That's a bad habit. First question. All right. You're from West Virginia. I am. Actually, we're going to save that question because it's a... We're going to wait till you get some more courage in your system. <laughs> okay. You a basketball fan? Huge basketball fan. Really? Yeah. You got an NBA team? Uh, no, I had an NBA player. Who was that? That was Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq. Yeah. He's pretty dominant. Yep, absolutely. So, I mean, everything from when he was uh, originally with the Lakers to, I'm sorry, the Orlando, L.A., Miami, even in that little stand he did with Boston, back to Phoenix. That was fast Shaq. Yeah, well, yeah. That was funny Shaq. That was fast Shaq. Funny Shaq is on TNT during halftime. Oh, man. Back to basketball. You play. Would you compare your play style to something like Shaquille O'Neal? Are you out here dominating your kids, posting your kids up, dunking on them in the driveway? No, not dunking. I still play on a 10-foot rim. Okay. But, uh, I used to play back in high school a little bit. I was a power forward. Okay. Yeah, I was dominating the church league as much as possible. Damn. Somebody got to take Jesus to him. Absolutely. You know. I don't think anybody goes harder in the paint than Jesus. <laughs> Well, any time that you can dunk on somebody and then pray for them at the same time, like, I mean, that's what that's up. Yeah. So. I'm going to pray for your ankles because they just got <laughs> broken. <laughs> but uh, I actually averaged a double-double back in high school. Okay. Fouls and rebounds. So, yeah. And fouls and rebounds. Okay. I'm enjoying this so far, and I'm afraid because I didn't expect to. So that means by the time we get here, I'm probably going to cry and snot bubble. I noticed that one leg is shaking awfully quick. I think this is a tick or a mannerism. All right. But thanks for pointing it out. No worries. And calling me out. No, but y'all okay. can't see it because. It's always good when people point out things you can't change about yourself. Yeah, you know. Not, not like I'm insecure about anything at no, all. No, it's okay. Speaking of insecurities. Yeah, what insecurities do you have? You know, I'm, <laughs> as a short, as an under six foot tall male, you know, height. Height mainly, yeah. If I was like four or five inches taller. I be, you wouldn't be able to tell me anything. You might have to punch me in my chest to get me to calm down. <laughs> what are you insecure about, sir? Oh, uh, this male pattern baldness. It's really not working for me. So. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't have a forehead. I have a five head. Like, it goes all the way back here. Five. Well, don't six. sell yourself short. Probably eight. That's more realistic. We're going right, to go octo we go. head. Not you, to insult you. You ready? Whenever you are. Whew. I'm following your lead. All right. Let's change the subject from basketball. I've, had you, I've asked you enough about basketball. Cooking. Love it. How did you get into cooking? <clears throat> was it something you grew up doing? Did you move out and realize you were a bachelor and tired of eating, you know, hot pockets and uh, frozen pizzas for dinner? And you're like, I need to learn to cook. How did this go? No, not at all. Actually, um, I knew early on that I wanted to be a chef. Uh, and that was kind of my background. And so I credit with my mother with that. We always had a rule in our family that if you didn't cook, you had to help clean, and I hated doing the dishes. Really? Yeah. So I always end up spending time with her and my grandmother and my aunts and everybody else and kind of learned a little bit more about it and, uh, you know, just got to a point where instead of helping with dinner, I was making dinner and went from there. One more cooking-related question for your personal. All right. You're going to expose yourself here. You are. And you is have this no a choice. Title IX violation? It's not a Title IX violation. Okay. Well, Casey, I asked the question. I want it on record. He did. Okay. He tried to caution me. 
So, what is your top five seasonings slash spices? Not. I made that mistake one too many times. I'm I'm done. <clears throat> Before I answer that question, I would like everybody to know out there on Blazer TV that there is a job opening for a director of retail operations. In other words, Kawana got fired for making these wings oh. too hot. No, 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 no. We'll keep her employed, just transferred. I hear... Uh. What in the hell is on this? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but if y'all could feel my lips right now, y'all would not be laughing. Like, okay. I got top, tingles. Top, I got to keep moving. Top, top five spices. Yes. Um, smoked paprika. People, people don't know about that. Um, it's like regular paprika, but they smoke it, and it just has a ton of great flavor. Really adds to a dish. You got to have it in your spice cabinet. Add it to my Amazon wish list. There you go. Uh, cumin, but use sparingly. Very, very small amount. Mm -hmm. I notice you're, you're blinking awfully hard, brother. You all right? You going to make it? Oh, I'm going to make it. All right. I might cry in the car later, but, like, I'm going to make it. I'm, I'm waiting for Patrick to turn the, the camera off. He's not. I'm stuttering. Like, He's not. I don't not. know what's going on. Like, my tongue is numb at this point. My tongue is fine. It is my lips. I am seriously reevaluating the beard right now because stuff is just in there that I don't think is ever coming out. I don't know if you realize this, but I got some... Decent sized lips, and the whole thing is on <laughs> Okay, um, so smoked paprika, cumin, uh, curry powder. You gotta have curry. Three. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Because cinnamon works in sweet and savory. You Indeed. can use it in spice rubs. It's very and, versatile. Uh, brown sugar. Big fan of brown sugar. That's not appropriate. I'm not gonna ask that wink. question. Wink. Oh, you wink, so therefore I gotta ask the question. Never mind. Brandon, I'm going to need another beer. <laughs> Patrick is That was not a joke. Bring me another beer. Pronto. All right. So I don't you need, ready? I got to go back to the questions. Okay, we're 6. This is 6 deep. Yeah, we are 6 you, deep out of 1. There was six, something about West Virginia four, five, in there. Six. Speaking of uh, Virginia, so, a little birdie informed me that um, you are a Virginia Tech fan. I am a huge Virginia Tech fan. Can you say that and still keep your job? It's homecoming week. How dare you? So. I am absolutely a Blazer fan, but I am a Virginia Tech fan, too. How about that? All right, let's have a moment of honesty. Wait, take a sip of your beer first. Take a big sip of this second beer. and A big sip so I can ask you this question and you can be honest with me. <clears throat> Why did I take such a big bite? What is wrong with me? It didn't hit me till I swallowed. All right, let's move on. Let's move. This, let's get the show on the road. Would you rather Virginia Tech win a national football them a championship or UAB? Oh, man, you suck. Really? You're going to ask me that? And we have camera documentation. UAB. Blink twice if you didn't mean that statement. <laughs> All right, moving right along. There is spice coming out of my nose. Um, the other thing that tastes like home for me, uh, uh, peanut butter pie, actually. That's a thing? It's delicious. Note to self. My, my wife makes the best one I've ever had, but uh, Chef Alley over in catering makes a very close second. So is that why you married your wife? You couldn't live without the peanut butter pie? No, she was a terrible cook when I met her. <coughs> That's love. Yeah, she knows it. <laughs> but she is definitely a better baker than I am. Uh, mm -hmm. I suck at baking. So I, I, baking is an exact science, and I hate measuring things up. So. Okay. Let's talk about. Um, I noticed you wanted to move on real quick. Let's talk about before I lose my willpower. Okay. Um, let's talk about your professional career. All right. Great. As a cook. 
Okay. Um. <laughs> Sounds great. What is your biggest accomplishment as a cook? As a leg. <laughs> as a cook? Why did I take a second bite? Oh, it's so stupid. I really enjoy these wings, but I'm trying to find a way, well, to eat them without my lips touching them, and it's not possible. See, the, the thing I did not anticipate is I wear contacts, and later on I'm going to have to take these out. You're going to have to, uh, look, this is going to be a test of your marriage. I'm going to have to ask your wife to do it. I'm going to sleep with them in. It'll be all right. <laughs> we're we're going to make it. I need more milk ASAP. All right, so what was the question? I don't remember. I don't either. It was uh, your greatest accomplishment as a show. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 Thank bet. You. Thank right, you. I'm on it. He's uh, doing God's work. Y'all can't see him off camera, but this is God's work. Thank you, Brandon. <sighs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as earth that is in heaven. Dear sweet Jesus. Um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't even remember what year it is. I don't know what year it is now. Um, 2018. Okay, this would have been uh, 12 years ago. All right, there it is. Um, I actually 2006. Got, I think that's right. I don't know. Is there a fact check on this? No. All right, then I'm going to straight up trump this answer. Um, great. It was sometime. It was so great. It was so great. Um, I actually forced the Dexo. I got to lead the culinary team at Belmont University um, for uh, one of the presidential debates. And this was for then um, Senator Obama, or Governor Obama, Senator. Senator? Politician Obama before president. Senator, thank you. Senator Obama and the late John McCain. Uh huh. And so we fed a little over 13,000 people one day. Um, I got a chance to work with Secret Service agent, agents. Uh, I got to help lead a team from Sodexo of about 25 different people at Belmont. I met some amazing people up there. Um, Kyle Clark, who's still up there as the, the general manager, he and his team were amazing. Um, and just a, a ridiculously cool experience. I got to actually meet Obama before he won uh, the presidency. I got to meet John McCain. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you're not allowed to leave. That's what they don't tell you. Is that the entire campus? So they hold is on you there. hostage. They they really do. And trust me, when you're in next to a uh, Secret Service agent with an Uzi, you listen. That's <clears throat> it's like the first time in three minutes I've looked up. Um, and uh, the really cool thing about that experience is that um, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I got to go up and sit in the NBC suite, and I realized that I'm watching the debate live on television, and I'm sitting next to Chris Matthews. And that just that entire experience was just amazing to be able to work with that team, to be able to do all of that, uh, come away and have a successful event, and then to to kind of be a part of history was pretty awesome. I really don't mean to undermine your accomplishment at all, but why are they getting hotter and I quit eating for like three minutes now? <laughs> That's spice. All right, move on. Um, so, have you ever encountered any celebrities in your life? Oh, absolutely, a lot. Really? Yeah. And elaborate. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I got to do the rap far, uh, rap party uh, for a movie. Oh gosh, twenty some odd years ago. Uh, Before LA I was Confidential alive. with Kim Basinger and uh, uh, gosh. Uh, so you cooked for them? Yeah, I got to cook with them. Got to meet them. Um, I've done things for a bunch of different celebrities. There was a rapper by the name of Capone from Capone and Noriega. I did his wedding. Um, yeah, there you go. Please uh, tell me they did not have chicken. You absolutely right, they did. Black people. They actually had a watermelon sorbet, too. Watermelons? I'm not even lying. Watermelon sorbet. They had a fountain, and I, this is 100% honest. sorbet. They had a fountain filled with Colt 45. I was just, you were shitting me. No. Like, Colt 45, Colt 45. No, I also... Uh, Oh, man. I actually, uh, at the time, back in the late 90s, I did a lot of work with the Dungeon Family All-Stars. And then I even got to meet uh, the entire Flip Mode squad. Uh, I toured with Buster Rhymes and did some work with him for a while. Did you cook for Buster? I did. Are you the reason Buster put on all that weight? 
Uh, no. It was pre-Fat Buster? It was pre-Fat Buster. This so is around uh, the time that Armageddon came out, uh, but before Extinction a Level event. Wow. Yeah, that's pre-Fat Buster. Actually, we just call I him I have uh, never seen weed smoke so callously in my life. Swollen Buster. Are you sure that you aren't the reason Buster Rhymes look like he had the power-up mushroom on Mario? No, I think he stopped smoking. I think that was the problem. <laughs> Work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a bite. Okay. I'm gonna get this right, over with while you, you talk. Are we doing it? Toast. Let's toast. All right. That's bullshit. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of things. All right, on. all right. Let's do it. Ready? You ready? Why is mine bigger than his? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. I. <laughs> I don't feel like this is fair at all. And look at how much sauce is on this wing. I'm a, it's not coming off. I was hoping. All right. I, this smells aggressive. Why would you put this in my... Look. I know I haven't been the best of person, people in this world. I don't deserve this. Smelling this is painful. That being said, let's take a bite, because he's done with his. It's not bad. At this point, I'm just desensitized to anything. Oh, never mind. Oh, here it come. <coughs> Pass these napkins and some milk. <coughs> Oh man, that was a slow build, but it, boy, is it building. I am supposed to have dinner with Actually, people, and this is going to get uncomfortable. Hey, yeah, you might want to cancel that now. Yeah, that's right. I, I suggest you cancel. <coughs> <coughs> okay, shut up, Sam. Uh, that is dangerous. I'm pretty sure that's assault because <laughs> there's some very hot sauce on that napkin. All right. So, um, uh, uh. like burping hurts. Like my soul hurts. Like I'm going to call my pastor after this. Like something oh. is wrong. <laughs> and um. for everybody laughing out there, you are going to hell. I just want you to know that. Super hell. Another question? Why did I scratch my face? Oh. Like, I'm doing this show with a young guy. Like, that's wrong. Like, you hit a point in your life where stuff goes downhill. Like, you can't even control it. Like, at 30, like, just, it's plateaus, and then you get near 40, and, like, shit just hurts. My lips hurt. Like, it takes me five minutes to get out of bed. Like, that's a problem. Um... I mean, I do too. It's called the snooze button. No, no, no. It ain't got nothing to snooze. It, like, legs don't work. Like, <laughs> knees, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I don't I'm pretty know sure, what's Patrick, it is a song. Like, but, like, here, and here's the problem. See, here's the problem. You're going to leave later on tonight. You're going to go have dinner. You're going to go have I'm fun. not. I mean, no, whatever. You're, gonna, you're young. You're I've been silly. working all week. I am sleeping for the next. 20 hours. Oh, you see, oh man. Oh. Oh. It is in my soul. Um, oh. And so here's the problem. Like, I'm going to go to sleep and I'm going to wake up about 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to have to pace around the house for like two hours because of heartburn. Because stuff just burns. Like, it's spreading. And I, I've been done chewing for a while. <laughs> I, feel, oh. I feel like I'm past it. I feel like I'm past it. No, that's no, that no false it's system. okay. No, it's all right. Okay. No, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be all right. We survived. Yeah, there we go. You did not need to hit my knuckle that hard. <laughs> oh, this was an episode of. I named it Blazing Bites. Blazing Bites. This was an episode of Blazing Bites, brought to you by Campus Dining. I'm Trevor. I'm Brian. I take that back. I'm in pain. And, I'm the guy who's gonna call off on Monday. Same. <laughs>
Thank you. <laughs>